Hey everybody, Joe Burnett here. Starting off a new Blockware Intelligence series. Uh, it's called the Mining Data Analytics Series. If you guys have seen, Will has been working on a very awesome on-chain analytics tutorial series. So this one is going to be very similar, but targeted towards more mining related metrics. Um, this first episode is going to be about hash ribbons, which is a very awesome uh, mining related metric that you can use to potentially identify Bitcoin price bottoms, which is awesome. Uh, first, uh, if, you, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the Blockware Intelligence YouTube channel and like this video if you, if you want to see more mining data analytics metrics. But let's get started. So this is what uh, the hash ribbon uh, chart looks like. Basically, hash ribbons uh, it was a metric created by Charles Edwards of Capriol Investments. You can see his Twitter right there, Capriol IO. Uh, go follow him. He's a lot of great Bitcoin and crypto related content. But basically, the metric comes down to Bitcoin's hash rate, Bitcoin's network hash rate. And it creates two, two unique uh, deviations from, the, from that metric alone. One is a 30-day moving average of Bitcoin's hash rate, and the other is a 60-day moving average of Bitcoin's hash rate. And the metric basically signals minor capitulation, meaning miners are shutting off their machines uh, in aggregate or in net on, from the network um, when the 30-day moving average of hash rate crosses below the 60 day moving average. And so you can see just since the beginning of 2020, this has already occurred uh, four separate times. And I'm going to get into each of those uh, as examples later on in this video. But basically, what it does is, is it, like I said, it, hash ribbons help signal, signal minor capitulation. This means the most inefficient, fragile miners are being purged from the network. Now, this can happen for a variety of reasons, and I'm going to go through these three examples uh, later in this video, but it could be from an economic reason. Maybe it's just more unprofitable to, rhyme or to mine. It could be a political reason, and it could be even a, an environmental reason. But basically, the metric uh, signals that Bitcoin may be bottoming soon. Why does it do this? Well, it shows that miners are literally turning off the machines they're probably being forced to sell Bitcoin from their treasury and sell their machines at lows, uh, at price lows and at ASIC price lows. Now, um, once this minor capitulation occurs, only the strong miners remain on the network. You know, the, the Bitcoin block subsidy uh, is not going to change whether there's two people mining or two billion people mining you're still going to get the same amount of Bitcoin. Well, let's go into, let's dive into those four examples and see why minor capitulation occurred in each of these scenarios. And you can clearly see uh, after each of these minor capitulations occurred, it was a pretty, pretty great time to buy, buy Bitcoin. The first one on the, on the very left there, bottom left, was the minor capitulation of the March 2020 price crash. This is when the equity market you know, and traditional finance was just collapsing due, due to COVID. Uh, Bitcoin literally fell, I think, almost 50% in one day uh, at the beginning of March. During this, you know, this time, uh, for, for economical reasons, most likely, miners were shutting off their machines simply because some machines that they were running were, were just not as profitable or, or unprofitable. Uh, after that, the price corrected from 7,000 down into the 3,000s, 4,000, 5,000 range. Second example here was the May 2020 halving. Um, you can clearly see that hash rate, uh, you know, the 30 day moving average of hash rate did drop uh, below the 60 day moving average. This signaled minor capitulation. Um, and after that, you know, the, the price went on a solid bull run. Um, but, but why this occurred is, is basically because revenue, um, roughly revenue of, of Bitcoin miners were cut in half due to the block subsidy being cut in half uh, algorithmically because of the Bitcoin halving. We have the third uh, minor capitulation 
here. Uh, it was actually the China rainy season. So this is just an environmental factor that typically occurs every year uh, in China where, where machines in mainland China uh, are forced, forced to turn off uh, for a short period of time before turning back on. And the last most major minor capitulation that Bitcoin has seen in its entire network history was the summer of 2021 China mining ban. And we saw hash rate fall by nearly 50%, um, which is unprecedented uh, at, at the scale that, that Bitcoin was operating. Uh, so many machines were turned off. Uh, they were relocated to the US and other parts of the world. Um, but it was, a, it was a great opportunity um, to be mining if you were in a stable political jurisdiction. Here's another example of hash ribbons uh, illustrating uh, what happened when the price of Bitcoin fell from 20,000 all the way down to 3,000 uh, in 2018 and 2019. You can see hash rate dropped off a solid amount um, by this minor capitulation. And after it occurred, Bitcoin was sitting around 3,000 and it was a great signal for, for a buying opportunity. And last one right here, uh, we have the minor capitulations of 2015, which occurred after um, the, the massive run-up that Bitcoin had up to $1,000 in 2013. Price went from $1,000 all the way down to 200 ish where these two minor capitulations occurred and show that like, Hey, like, you know, miners are turning off. It's a great time. Uh, it's a signal that, that, that Bitcoin, uh, could be in a, in a great, uh, buying opportunity, but yeah, that's, that's the basics of hash ribbons. I'm going to be doing a lot more, uh, other metrics for, for, for this, this minor mining analytics series. But again, please like this video subscribe to Blockware Intelligence and leave a comment or message me on Twitter with other metrics you would like me to cover. Thanks guys.